Well, our next guest has been called the Keith Green of today's generation. He says his goal is not to lead people to religion, but to lead them to Jesus. Please welcome worship leader Jason Upton as he sings Father to the Fatherless. I don't know how to say what I'm feeling. I don't have words to write you a song, but I have this hope and I have this prayer and I am believing that your words are true and you never leave us Father of the Father, come down and rescue us. We need you, we need you again. Friend of the friend. Cried for their fathers, and how many fathers have cried like a son? When well, now every tear is saved through the years in memories bottled. Comes the fine wine you serve to the children of God, Father of the Father. Come down and rescue us. We need you, we need you again. Friend of the friendless, come down and visit us. We need you, we need you again. It's so good to have That's you here great again. Being with you. This song is my favorite off of the album uh, that it's on, but it really has special meaning to you. Tell us about that. Well, um, yeah, I was adopted in 1974, in March of 1974, and um, given a home. Yeah. And um, just recently, as I was writing this song, actually, I was in the process of meeting my biological family. Wow. Found out that my biological mother lives in Minneapolis given me up for adoption, prayed over me, prayed that I'd be a worshiper, wrote a little letter and a little note. Of course, back then it was wow. closed adoptions yeah. out of Minneapolis. And um, as I was actually writing this song, um, I was I was introduced to them and my biological father and found out that my biological mother was listening to worship uh, in a prayer room at Redeeming Love Church of my worship for years and didn't even know didn't it was know me. You were her son. And uh wow. and that <laughs> process of adoption, um, you know, even the process of meeting my biological family really made me value uh, you know, what what my parents gave me mm -hmm. and wrapping their arms around me and my dad playing ball with me and catch with me and spending time with me and bringing me to church. And yeah. it was almost like as we met, all of her dreams for my life, all the things she prayed for me when she put me up for adoption. Everything she prayed for me 
happened God with the parents that mistakes. God gave me. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> wow. I know that you had an encounter with God that has taken you from just singing in churches to really having a passion to reach people with the knowledge that they can can know Jesus, walk with them, live yeah. with them. How did that happen? Well, you know, my wife and I, Rachel, uh, she she actually didn't grow up uh, in the church uh, so much and, and, and had an experience with God later on in life. And then when we met, she was a three day eventer and horse rider and such. And, and, uh, and, uh, when we met, uh, uh she didn't, just didn't have any understanding of church ways of doing mm-hmm. things. And, 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 uh, and so, uh, she actually just encouraged me. She, we'd be at the house worshiping. I'd be singing songs and, and she got me a piano one year in like 1995 and, and uh, to play in a worship room. And I just started singing songs mm-hmm. in the worship room. She said, for some reason, the stuff that comes out of you when you're just singing your heart mm-hmm. and being real yeah. is so powerful. Why don't you just sing that? Instead of performing. And I thought, well, I grew up in the church. You got to, you know, it's like you learn to perform sometimes yes. in church yes. for the glory of God. You think, you know. Sometimes but people even expect that. Expect it. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but Rachel really taught me about just being myself. And so I just started singing my heart. And, um, and, and, and so that's what I keep doing. You know, I think it's one of the things about your music that's so precious is it leads us into a place of non-performance with God, but just letting us receive his love Mm -hmm. and understanding what it means for him to be our father. And I think maybe even your own circumstances in life, God has used to put that into your music so that the rest of us. People ask me all the time, they say, why do you talk so much about the father Father, adoption, the spirit of adoption, because the revelation of the spirit of adoption is that when Paul used that term, what he meant was that that was a, a legally binding contract mm-hmm. that, that he used it specifically to show that there, to be a blood child, you could be disowned and disinherited, but to be adopted meant yeah. that you could never be disowned and you could never be disinherited. It's forever. And so, yeah, so <laughs> That's the good that news. enters our worship. <laughs> That's the it? amazing news. You know, yeah. I want to mention that the album that Father of the Fatherless is on is Between um, Earth and Sky, which is awesome. You've got some mm. great songs on there about your kids as well. And then Beautiful People is your most recent release, yeah. right? Yeah. So I want people to know that you can get a hold of this. They're available across the country. And Jason's got such a great message. By the way, this is appropriate. Today is November 1st. This is National Adoption. Adoption Month. If you'd like to know more about what CBN and Operation Blessing are doing to touch the lives of orphans around the world, visit cbn.com. Go to Orphans Promise and you can find out about that. Thank you for your passion Thank and you your too. heart for this. Thank it's you. great to see you again.